as usually happens when celebrities appear at an event, there were a barrage of selfies taken and autographs signed at this appearance by an NHL legend. I'm saying that too. But in this rare case, Reggie Leach's signatures on these cards are only the second most impressive thing he has added to them. My phone number's on there, my email's on there, and anytime they want to talk to me um, about anything, I'm willing to uh, sit down and talk to them and talk to them over the phone and see if I can get them straightened out. And so while the autograph may be treasured, it's that other information that may be truly life-changing. The former first-round draft pick and Conn Smythe Trophy and Stanley Cup winner says dozens of youngsters and some adults have taken advantage of his offer to call him collect when they needed someone to talk to. He's a great role model for all of us, not just uh, the kids, but I mean, as adults, just to see what he's done and it's, it's uh, about really what in, anything you do, it's not hockey, it's not anything like that, it's just pushing forward and making sure you're, you're doing the best whatever kind of gifts you have. Leach was brought in for a one-day hockey camp for youngsters from northern communities and Saskatoon at Shro Arena as part of the Driving for Prostate Golf Classic. The participants got the chance to meet and have lunch with the NHL legend in addition to hitting the ice. I told the kids they're the luckiest kids in the world today. They're all on ice, they're skating around because that's the best best sport in the world is hockey. And um, and the kids today just enjoy the game. And, and you know, get, when you get a little older and that, get serious about it. But right now, go and have fun. You know, I'm, I'm an elder for the First Nation communities and uh, I think it's very important for myself to go around and, and spend uh, and uh, spread the word of how important sport is and education is, uh, uh, life choices. And Leach knows well what can happen when the wrong choices are made. He has been very public about his struggles with alcohol during his playing career. He entered rehab in 1985 and has been sober since and focused on helping youngsters both on and off the ice. You don't have to be a pro hockey player to be successful. Just go out there and do the best you can. I always say that I'm more proud of what I do today than what I did in the National Hockey League. Hockey League, National Hockey League was just a stepping stone for me to who I am today. In Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.